Okay, Dick. You're on in five, four, three, two. The News of the World, Wednesday, February 25th. Once again, Columbia's correspondents in world capitals and in the fighting zones in the Western Pacific are ready to give you the latest news direct by shortwave radio. And now for news of our own West Coast, we take you to Los Angeles and the report of Byron Palmer. Anti-aircraft guns went into action against unidentified aircraft in the Los Angeles area shortly after 3 a.m. Pacific wartime this morning. The anti-aircraft guns began barking during a blackout ordered by the 4th Interceptor Command at 2.25 a.m. The impression of the shells could be felt in downtown Los Angeles, 15 miles away. U.S. Army planes quickly took to the dark sky. But whether they contacted the object has not been announced. Army officials say they will not comment until they receive a full report of the action. <laughs> We're all going to die. Oh, shit. Dick's passed out on his desk. Go to camera two, quick. The shooting brought warfare to the front door of this city of a million and a quarter population for the first time since December 7th. No. The object moves southward, presumably over Huntington Park, at the western edge of Los Angeles, and on southward to about long beach on the coast. By 3 30 a.m., a specific object appeared to be over the south of Long Beach. Searchlights closely followed the object down the coast and kept it centered in the coast. Shell frequently could be seen bursting near the object, but none appeared to hit it. The shooting stopped about 3.30 a.m. A three-hour alert was ordered at dusk last night, and civilian authorities stood at their post. Now you die, Earth man. sounded at 2.22 a.m., and the blackout followed within three minutes. It covered Los Angeles County from Santa Monica to Pomona. <laughs> Army officials say they will not comment until they receive a full report of the action. The second cars appear to be closer to downtown Los Angeles, since watchers could hear the confession of the guns more clearly, and the flash of bursting shells was bright. Watchers on the rooftop of the Columbia Broadcasting Building, in the heart of Hollywood, they plainly see the flashes of guns and searchlights sweeping the skies in a white mark along the coastal area. Approximately 20 minutes after the firing died down, the ship returned and headed westward from Long Beach toward Santa Monica. Although some watchers say they saw airplanes in the air, many official sources say they probably were the U.S. Army's pursuit. Several observers say they saw one or more planes spotlighted by 20 or 30 The unidentified object disappeared for the second time over the ocean. Army officials say they will not comment until they receive a full report of the action. Surrender or die, Earth man. No, no, no. Don't <laughs> look into the light. <laughs> we return you now to TBS in New York.
You want this round, human, but I'll be back, and then you will all 